The first palette I am going to go into is the Take Me Back to Brazil by um, BH Cosmetics. And no, I'm lying. I'm lying like the fuck. Okay, nah, that's not right. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jay, known as Lipstick Junkie here on YouTube, slayed by Jay, Jay Cabrera, and other things, if you don't know who you're asking. JK, okay, no, not really, but for real. Um, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do another glam, kind of prom look. It is still kind of somewhat prom season, so I thought I would give you guys another tutorial. So if you like to see how I achieve this look, then please just- so I'm first going to go into the ColourPop No Filter Control concealer in the shade light 16 and i'm not gonna put it all over my lid i'm just going to do like a little mini cut crease and i'm just going to take the brush i did my eyebrows with and blend it out I'm gonna set it with Airspun in the shade Translucent. And I'm not gonna put too much. I'm gonna put it to where it just covers all of it barely. So the first palette I'm going to go in is the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. And I'm going to take Zobo or Zubu, which is that purple color. And I'm actually going to take an e.l.f. brush with that. And I'm basically going to make a moon, like a half moon shape. I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to take that hot pink shade. And I'm going to use a wet and wild brush that I usually use for my highlighter and I'm just going to pat that on on top. And then I'm gonna go back into the masquerade palette just so I can build that color back up because it did get lost, which is fine because I'm gonna end up putting another shade of like purple on top of it anyway. But we just want to make sure that everything blends out. And now I'm still padding, but I gotta have like a little bit of a stroke with it like I'm just like stroking it lightly because you want to pat and not swipe and I really learned that from B Marie here on YouTube like yeah patting just from this tutorial alone I see like the difference from patting versus um swiping and with a just regular wet and wild blending brush, I didn't like actually dip this into um, a shade. I'm just going to go and blend out the top. I was going to put yellow on top of it or orange, but I always do that. So actually, you know what? I'm lying. I actually did take um, this shade from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I want to say I put a little bit of this on top. I think it was this shade but i didn't really like like uh i mean it was cool but it wasn't really a big difference like versus me um just blending it out but i'll take some of it since i did it on that eye but i didn't take a lot i literally took just a little bit because see it came up like a little like gray to me that was like kind of ashy like i don't know if y'all could really see that but it was a little ashy to me so that's why um I don't know, I guess I just forgot that I did that step. I don't know. So I'm going into the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Create. I keep saying that's a shade. But I don't know if that's just the name of this one thing or if that's just a shade. I'm going to find out. So I won't be sounding crazy. So 
So I'm gonna take a little bit of it. And I'm going into a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush that I did the Kiki Adams method with. So I got it super duper duper flat. And I'm doing a full cut crease, which going back and seeing how like this looks, I really didn't have to. So I probably actually won't do a full cut crease because it was no point because I went back in and did the um, shade since this is like the halo effect do like a middle cut crease instead of going through the hassle of doing a full one when it really makes no sense so yeah set my crease I'm going into the Warriors palette by Juvia's Place which has become another one of my faves and I'm going into I believe the shade is called a hosey um I need to stop saying I don't know um I just felt like these are my African roots like well not mine you know specifically but I don't know I just feel like I love what Juvia is doing and I realize it's more than just makeup so you know I'm, I'm really becoming more appreciative of what they're doing here so I'm actually really trying to pronounce all of the names correctly look them up and stuff like that see what they mean because I mean why not especially since I'm using them and she's doing way more than we think like she's really putting us on to a lot so yeah I really appreciate Juvia's for you know putting me on so i'm just gonna go in with a regular bh cosmetics brush and set that and i'm just going to pat like i said before i should have um just did a half a crease on my first lid instead of doing a full one since I didn't do um since I wasn't like since I was covering it anyway with this halo eye so it really just didn't make sense but um I do like the fact that you can see the definition so maybe I should have just went ahead and did a full cut crease over here but it'll be okay and I'm just going back into Zubu or Zobu from Juvia's Masquerade palette. And I'm just back into that same e.l.f. brush. And as you can see, I'm doing like a diagonal type of motion to really just do the halo effect that I want. I'm just doing it in a like triangle. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. But I'm going back into another fave. Can you believe it? This has become my fave. Morphe who, okay? Bitch, I haven't picked up that Morphe palette in like three months. Yeah, it's been like three months or so. So I'm going to go into this like, um, 
light well it's like a champagne it's not picking up good on camera but it's definitely a really pretty champagne color yeah the lighting isn't allowing that to be great and then i'm going to go on top of it with more of like a bronzy color because the bronzy is i don't know it's like a the consistency is really weird so I feel like um, the champagne color just helps it stay a little more. Then I'm going into a crown. I don't know what brush this is, but I have it in the description box. It's the same one I'm always going into. So I'm just using one side for the champagne color. And I'm going to go along of the triangle and just pat that on. And it's nothing wrong with keeping it like this because I felt like it looked really, really cute. But since this was like a glammed up type of tutorial, I decided to go back on top of it with that um, like bronzy shimmer color. I'm going into a B small brush from Amazon. The number has rubbed off, so I don't even remember what number this was. But I originally wanted it to be like a burgundy. Um, so when I realized I kind of did a uh, purple, like it was more of a deep purple. Like this was the perfect burgundy shade that I wanted. Um, so I just went back over it um, and it's fine. It's, you know, it's on, you know, it's no big zeal or whatever. Going into my regular face routine everything is pretty much the same um, but I like to keep telling y'all because I do like to just switch it up sometimes you know from time to time I be switching it up but not really because once I'm set with something I'm set so I'm going into the covergirl pore minimizing skin primer I'm going to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Cream Contour Kit and I'm going to that orange color corrector and I'm going to set it with airspun and translucent. Taking the green color corrector by LA Girl Pro. With a super damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend it all out. to take the Fenty Beauty foundation the pro filter soft matte foundation in 360 and I'm going to mix it with the 24 hour can't stop won't stop full coverage in the shade caramel I'm mixing these two very different foundations together just because like I mentioned before my undertone is extremely weird now it was just olive but um being having an olive undertone can make me look a little dead you know what I'm saying and I ain't trying to be out here looking dead. So I have to mix it and um, mixing it with like a caramel or, you know, just a shade that's a little more vibrant with like a golden undertone just helps me, you know, pump it up a little bit. Blending it with an um, Be Small Amazon brush that is a damp. going to set my foundation with a BH Cosmetics powder brush and the Black Radiance Soft Focus powder foundation in the shade Golden Almond Finish. Taking the usual.
for my contour, I am going to go into the usual wow, the No Filter Concealer by ColourPop in the shade Deep 56. And I'm just going to blend that out with an Amazon angled foundation brush. And for my nose contour, I am just going to blend that out with a um, BH Cosmetics flat brush. And I'm going to set it with the BH Cosmetics powder contour kit. Taking my favorite loose powder here lately, the Maybelline Loose Powder from the Fit Me Collection in the shade 10 Fair. And I'm going to set my contour, I mean not my contour, my highlight with that. I'm going to set my um under eye with the milk jumbo pencil from um nyx <laughs> And I am going to go back into the BH Cosmetics, take me back to Brazil palette, and I'm going to go into one of those bright pink shades and set it with a crown defining brush. And for my blush, I'm going to go into the LA Colors Rad Rogue Blush in the shade Awesome. I'm spraying my face with the Maybelline Fit Me um, Setting Spray. And then I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti, of course. But I am going to take like a little highlight brush that I got from a paintbrush set. Okay, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in the comment section below. Also, be sure to check out my last prompt tutorial that I did too. It, um, the direct link is in my description box. And like I said, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.